Star Wars has its fair share of bootleg games. Dating all the way back into the 1980s, there has been tons of people trying to grab a quick buck off the franchise. Whilst there has been a lot of coverage over these bootleg games, I wanted to do something worse. I went out and tried to find one of the worst, or at least infamous, Star Wars fan game or bootleg that I could find. And after searching through all of the Android Play Store, numerous old school bootlegs, I came across one I wish I hadn't. So today I'm going to be showing you a Star Wars fan game that I wish never existed. It's a bad one guys, but I hope you'll enjoy it. So let's just get on with it. Okay, here we go. And this is it. Senate is it love. A Sheev Palpatine dating simulator. Oof, okay absolutely no graphics it's just a black screen with text we'll we'll make this look interesting in post-production you arrive at the galaxy's opera house purchase a ticket for the show an umbran hands you a ticket and leads you into one of the many showings you stride into an opera house where an elderly gentleman is sacked you introduce yourself not knowing that it is indeed supreme chancellor sheev palpatine of the galactic Republic. He smiles at you and you take a seat beside him. He turns his head ever so slightly and asks you about the thoughts on the show. I find Squid Lake rather interesting, but to be honest, this is my first time. It is interesting. I hope you enjoy the rest of it, he smiles as his eyes meet yours. They are were of an angelic blue tinge. He rolls his head back and continues to watch the show. A few minutes later, he speaks again to you. I appreciate your honesty. I can't stand psychophants. Is that how you say it? Sycophant. Oh, uh, I can't stand sycophants who find their way to my side and lie to my face. Well, you are very easy to talk to, Chancellor. His eyes grow rosy from the compliment. As are you. You both sit in awkward silence, but you notice that his happy and cheery demeanor has turned into that of a sad one. Take advantage of his sadness? Or ask him what's wrong? It is the Jedi. Tears begin to form in the corner of his eyes. They're planning to betray me. I've tried so hard to work with them, but they despise me. His head hangs in shame. I truly fear even traveling home now. I'm just waiting for them to attack me someday. Why don't you stay with me tonight? I have an apartment nearby. Oh boy, really? He stumbles over his words. I, I would love to. He shoots you a heartwarming smile and you shoot him one back, finishing the rest of Squid Lake. You both leave the opera house and make your way back to your apartment. Oh wow, I love the minimalism, he remarks kindly as you lead him into your apartment. You take off your coat and place it on your couch. What should you do next? Have a drink with him, good old palp. Oh, that, <laughs> the image hasn't loaded, classic, okay. You pour for both of you a glass of bourbon with ice. Striding back towards him, you hand him a glass in which he returns the favour with a big grin. I used to be something of a bourbon enthusiast in my youth. He giggles as he downs it rather quickly. It's quite apparent that he could drink you under the table. Ah, that's the stuff. What should we do next? You ponder your options as he l turns to admire the apartment once more. Ask him if he feels safe. Thank you for asking. No one really ever seems to care about me or my feelings. I have to make the coldest, most heartless of decisions, but I'm trying my best to end this one. Everyone forgets that I'm a person too. You give him a hug and continue to validate his feelings. You rub his shoulders as he turns to admire the apartment once more. We gotta go to bed. I don't wanna go to bed. We gotta go to bed. What an awful photo to pick with him sleeping. <laughs> he grows tired and you lead him over to your bed. Lifting the sheets, you tuck him in and he is no sooner in the bed when he is out for the count. You smile down at his beautiful face. Truly beautiful. Such a gentle and kind man who deserves the world. You plant a daring kiss on his forehead before you go to your side of the bed and gently until <laughs> grab it you will <laughs> it's all you hear before you are <laughs> knocked out <laughs> what i don't know if i want to keep going 
<laughs> Awake they are. Yoda growls as window Windu folds his arms. Ah. Tell a stranger, who are you? And why exactly are you in bed with the Chancellor? You demand they tell you what's going on first? This is Grandmaster Yoda, and I'm Master Mace Windu. We're keepers of the peace. We suspect that the Chancellor may be up to no good. Willing to compensate you, we would be. Yoda chimes in. How exactly? Two of our finest Jedi give you we would. Yoda says, Master Skywalker. And Master Kenobi can fill the void that the Chancellor will leave. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't like this at all. Why do they make this, man? This is horrendous. I see. We will not allow you to get in our way of our plans. Mace Windu comments before he ignites his lightsaber. You are backed into a corner by Yoda, Windu, Skywalker, and Kenobi. Until suddenly, your weapons, please. A deep voice calls from above. As the speeder zooms by and grabs you just in time. It's Count Dooku. What a hero. He raises his hand and unleashes a torrent of lightning. Knocking them all down to the ground as you both speed off into Coruscant. Akam, as soon as the Chancellor called. He said that he suspected the Jedi might have taken you. They're traitors. You wrap your arms tightly, tightly around Dooku as he brings you back to the Chancellor's office. Thank you for returning them to me, Dooku. You are a good friend. Of course, Master Sidious. Wait, dot dot dot. Master Sidious? Yes, I am the one they call Darth Sidious. Palpatine nods towards you. I'm trying to reform this corrupt republic. And the only way I can do that is to control both sides of the war. Did you not wonder why Kunduku came to save you? It would explain everything. You naturally accept him for who he is and love him no less. This person's a bigger man than me. The Jedi will be here soon, Lord Sidious. Dooku comments, standing high. Today we save the Republic. With truth, with honor. Shiv returns. Shiv, Shiv turns and looks at you in the eye. With love. Wow. I'm gonna cry at that. You can't help but blush. You really are beginning to love this man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Plan your defense. You see both Darth Ty Tynus and Darth Sidious. What shall you do? Hey, Sheev, you remark as you walk closer to him. So, this is really it? They're going to betray you? It would seem so, unfortunately. You see him look aside, but I'm glad I will have you here. I've been meaning to tell you. I love you. You both say it at the same time. A brief sentence along the bewilderment from both of you fills the room with passionate tension. In an instant, you throw your arms around him and embrace him. Sheev meets you and presses his lips tightly against yours. The galaxy stands still as this moment lasts for eternity. I hate this. The Jedi barge into the office of the Chancellor and pull out their lightsabers. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. Mace Windu issues the unwarranted arrest. Two war criminals and a traitor. A wonderful Obi-Wan comments. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? Palpatine growls as you both, you and Dooku, stand behind him. The Senate will decide your fate. Windu retorts coldly. I am Senate. Sidious slips out from under the mask of Palpatine. Not yet. It's treason. Palpatine said calmly as he unsheaths a lightsaber from his sleeve. Dooku brushed aside his cape and unsheathed his own saber from his hip. The hypocrisy of the Jedi ends today. Both of them lunged into the air towards the Jedi. I'm doing nothing here. I'm just, you know, just chilling. Watching this man that I love potentially die. Palpatine manages to slaughter the majority of the Jedi and pushes Mace Windu out of the office so he cannot get near you. And they continue to fight within the hall. Dooku takes on both Anakin and Obi-Wan, holding them off from getting you. You help Dooku get the upper hand by knocking a chair down that Anakin falls over. <laughs> Dooku cuts off Anakin's arm and then his head and you kick it as it rolls by your foot. With Anakin finished and dead, Obi-Wan is flung into a blind rage which makes his form weak. Dooku, a master swordsman, exploits it and makes quick work of Kenobi. Thank you, Count. He lowers his head and mourns the loss of his two brilliant swordsmen. At least you're safe. 
You smile and hug him. He is a true friend. Then you hear, Help me! Windu has managed to knock Palpatine's lightsaber out of his hand and force him back against the window. You're shaking, utterly terrified. Is he going to kill him? You watch as Palpatine shoots force lightning to at Windu to save himself, but it bounces back towards him and deforms his face. Help me, please. He whimpers out as all hope seems lost. You kick Mace's hand and his lightsaber is dropped. Power! Now is in Palpatine's chance. Within an instant, he unleashes a barrage of force lightning upon Mace Windu. Unlimited power! You see the Jedi Master being shocked with torrents upon torrents of dark side energy before the life leaves him and he is tossed to his death. Palpatine groans as he slowly stands up. Epilogue. So what becomes of you and Sheev? Sheev went on to proclaim his empire and you become his spouse, thus ruling the empire with him. You both got married on Naboo, his home planet. You lift him to the shores of the beach and share many a passionate moment with him. Oh my god. I'm trying to read the weirdest Star Wars fanfic I've ever seen. And I'm pretty sure the cleaner just heard me just like read out the entire thing with enthusiasm. With like absolute enthusiasm. Nice. You lifted him to the shores of the beach and shared many a passionate moment with him. You would go on to rule the empire with him for an eternity, bringing peace, order, and love wherever you went, loved by all and mostly by sheep. The remainder of your life was peaceful. Dooku would occasionally drop by and spend an evening reminiscing with you both about the old days. He has become an important part in both your lives and you both truly treasure him with all your hearts. Upon your death, she was finally able to use all of his power to answer his true calling, to become one with the universe. Spinning once more, he began to spin through the galaxy, becoming at peace with one and everything. Perhaps someday, old Dooku will find love too. He may have done bad things, but he isn't a bad person. Even angels can make mistakes. He deserved to be happy. Old Sheev is a good man. Look at that smile. Be happy you made him happy. Nice. It's just not loading. So we never got to see it in the end. Why don't you... Wait, what? Why don't you give him it all over again? No. <laughs> right, well, that was the Sheev Palpatine dating simulator. So if you enjoyed that, I didn't. Uh, definitely give the video a like and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. There's a fair few others here that I haven't covered. And if you want me to do more weird Star Wars bootleg or fan games, I will certainly do those for you. But uh, other than that, I have been Charlie. You've been watching X2. And unfortunately, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.